interesting start to the week after a wonderful long weekend where you know me driving out and about doing errands and whatnot looking around and going wow absolutely no one is adhering to the stay at home order anymore so uh, that'll be interesting to see in Ontario. Anyway, we get back to the work week on a Tuesday instead of a Monday. And one of the first stories I see is an interview on the CBC with a defense official, national defense, talking about the Deschamps report. You've probably heard about that report in uh, recent weeks or months because it was the report from 2015 that looked into issues of sexual misconduct in the Canadian Armed Forces. The report has been often referred back to of late because the Canadian Armed Forces continues to have issues with sexual misconduct, which is why we've gone through quite a few senior officers lately. The military has always insisted that, oh, don't worry, we, we implemented the report, we looked at it. The official uh, speaking with uh, the CBC said, yeah, they looked at it and they basically looked at each recommendation and they found some way to go, yep, we've done that. She said they treated it like a checklist instead of an actual blueprint for structural reform. There's two big conclusions to draw from this. One of them, of course, is I think the obvious one, which is that as much as the current incumbent government wants to pass the buck on this and just say that this is the fault of the conservatives and some of these officers, men who've been impacted by the allegations were indeed promoted by conservatives, it doesn't really fly. To the extent that there is long-term blame, it basically applies fairly equally to both parties. I'm not saying that to pass any box. I'm just acknowledging some some failures are multi-partisan. You know, the Canadian Armed Forces has long been neglected by both liberals and conservatives. That normally means underfunded, undertrained, and under-equipped. In this case, it probably means under-scrutinized. Nothing new under the sun there. The Liberals have had six years. The Deschamps report came out just in the dying days of the Harper administration. If the Liberals had wanted to run with this ball, this feminist government, they've had more than enough time, but they ignored it. The second takeaway is this. The Liberals, in response to this latest eruption of crisis that has involved senior officers in the armed forces, members of the prime minister's office, they have said they're going to bring in another retired Supreme Court justice to go out and come up with a report. But we just found out we basically ignored the first report. Look, folks, we all know a punt when we see it. The Liberals announced that uh, Louise Arbour, a complete credible and respected woman, a, very, a phenomenally accomplished jurist, would come in and do a redo of the report because, you know, this time, well, well, we'll get it right. And apparently she's actually going to come in and offer some suggestions on how to actually action this. Okay, that's fine. This is obviously an attempt by the liberals to make this issue go away now that it has engulfed the national defense minister and the prime minister's office. But okay, let's actually stow the entirely warranted cynicism here just for a minute. Yeah, it's a punt. Yeah, it's a delaying tactic. Yeah, it's for political purposes. But maybe in some way it actually is useful. Maybe uh, Justice Arbour comes up with something in her report that is new and novel and great and useful and productive. We have already seen that unless there is a government willing to be active and engaged, the military will thank her for the report promise to give it a really close look and bury it somewhere on our firing range and then shoot artillery at it and ignore it to the extent they do anything they will do what they did with this one which is make some token surface changes declare mission accomplished and everyone goes on shore leave this is a recurring problem it requires an engaged government to fix it. This is a government that likes to tell us all how feminist it is. You would think this is a match made in heaven. But if you've actually seen this government in action before, you probably know why I'm a little bit skeptical.